Welcome to the Tesla Economist. Please hit the thumbs up and remember to subscribe. You can also follow me on Twitter and talk to me on Patreon. I've just heard some major news from Sawyer Merritt on Twitter. For those of you who don't know, he's a major Tesla Twitter reporter who also has some insiders at Tesla. He's been reliable with his information in the past and has just said there has been a major Tesla meeting with a lot of important information to report. Sawyer says it's an all hands meeting, which he clarifies means any of Tesla's 85,000 employees can access or listen to the call. He says that Giga Berlin will get approval in October, no date as of such. We were previously expecting it to be the start of the month, but having a confirmed opening is better than rumors. Apparently the factory will also spell Tesla on the roof of the factory for all planes to see at the nearby airport. Maybe it will be spelt out in solar panels perhaps. We're hearing that FSD version 10 is quite profound, a revelation and is the future. Elon has also been tweeting about it being amazing. In fact, he says it's a step change from where we are previously, which is a big deal. In fact, it's so good that apparently Tesla are considering launching the Model 2 without a steering wheel or pedals and just hoping for the best. Perhaps you're still able to control it with basic maneuvers at low speed from the app. Sawyer says that the $25,000 model will not be called the Model 2, and the Model 3 was only named that because Ford had the Model E trademark. We already knew this. Ford refused to give up the trademark for Model E. Ford also has the trademark for Model A, so don't expect it to be called that. The latest placeholder for it has been coined the Model Q, and Elon does have a great sense of humor, so we'll have to wait to find out. Tesla will be opening up the charging network very soon, perhaps as early as next month with their Tesla app, and it will first start in Europe and presumably roll out to the US shortly after that. I much prefer the Tesla charging network. It will be a vastly superior infrastructure than all the other alternatives. Bad news on the Cybertruck. It has been delayed now until late 2022. It seemed too good to be true, and Elon did actually say on AI Day it won't come out until mid-2022 with the new FSD chip, although it was slightly ambiguous. But volume production in 2023, likely when we have volume production for 4680s, but we could be talking about a huge volume. Elon is expecting to grow Tesla by a factor of 10 at least. He doesn't state what he means or by when, hopefully he means vehicle capacity, and perhaps we have 4 million now with the new factories, and that takes us to 40 million as a factor of 10 from the current run rate would only be about 8 million a year. It's a very vague, arbitrary statement though. There will be a robo van in the future to address people with a disability. We did expect a van, but I guess now it would be a robo van due to the fact that if Model 2 is going to be a full robo car, then the van will be too. Also, apparently Elon is going to Mars in about 10 years too, which I guess means he has completed his missions for Tesla by then and it will start maturing as a company. In other words, if you can, hodl for 10 more years. I'm not sure if this news will move the stock. Expect Cybertruck delay FUD most likely. However, it just goes to show how easily this stock price could break out at any moment. Thanks for listening. Please hit the thumbs up and subscribe. You can follow me on Twitter and talk to me on Patreon.